subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo! I'm not Kevin TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with y'all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, don't forget to turn your notifications on. I'll, li listen, man. I need y'all to see my videos on time, man. I need y'all to see my videos on time, all right? Make sure you turn your notifications on, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's free. You know what I'm saying? Don't you want to see my face some more? Come on, guys. Turn notifications on. And, um, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. OTAs is over. Training camp's right around the corner. And, um, there was a few stars in OTAs, but there was three stars I definitely want to talk about. And, uh, this is what this video is going to be about, man. The three people that stepped up in the key positions, in these, these positions we need, key positions that we've been hearing about, and they're, they're, they're pretty good this is what I like to hear, man. It's what I wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? There's three players that definitely stepped up, and we'll get into that, man. So let's get started. Now, the first player that stepped up in a crucial position was my dog, Taylor Moten, all right? Taylor Moten was taking the majority of the left guard snaps in OTAs. And you know what that tells me? He beating out the other suckers. He beating out Mini Silatolu, Jeremiah Sorelli's, all these other guys. He beating them out. And that's why I thought it was going to happen. That's why I wanted it to happen. And that's why I was pushing for it to happen ever since, you know what I'm saying, Andrew Norwood left. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm definitely, but obviously it's OTAs, you know, training camp can change a lot of things. But it just shows that, you know, he's making strides in the right direction. And, they, and from all reports, they say he's doing pretty good too at left guard. You know what I'm saying? So we might have our left guard side solidified. Which we definitely need. That was a huge gaping hole. And everybody was questioning, who going to fill in for Andrew Norwood? Who going to fill in for Andrew Norwood? I have always been on Taylor Moten. Taylor Moten played good when he had on the field last year. It just was, it was limited, man. Because Daryl Williams, I think he rated as the best right tackle in the league last year. Like, pro football focus had him rated as the best. I mean, he played great. So, it was so hard for them to put Taylor Moten in. But when they did put him in, he was aggressive. He was physical. He was strong. So I was like, okay, I was like, all right. So when, when I heard that Andrew Norwell wasn't, wasn't going to be able to pay him, which I wanted to pay Andrew Norwell so we could move him to the left tackle and get rid of Matt Khalil. But obviously Andrew Norwell was too much money. I can understand that. he was. He, I mean, he got paid $65 million by the Jags. So I understand that. But I'm, t I'm perfectly fine with Taylor Moore moving to the left guard. I think he'll be very good for us. He's a very physical blocker. If you watch, if you watch him, man, he's, he's physical at the point of attack. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? He's an aggressive blocker. And that's what you need, man. You need somebody who's going to push hard and, 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 you know, put forth everything, man. That's what Andrew Norwell was, man. Andrew Norwell was a cat. He would not give up. He was not a quitter at all. You know what I'm saying? He would push, push. And if you push it, you get to the ground, man. That's what you need in a guard. Just in lineman in general. So I think Taylor Moore can be a very good feeling. Do I think he'll be Andrew Norwell from the beginning? No. Obviously, it took Andrew Norwell a few years to get to where he was at. But... I think Taylor Moore could be a very good guard for us, and that will solidify that side. So I'm happy Taylor Moore basically, you know, it looked like he's, you know, he took the lead. He ain't solidified yet, but he definitely took the lead in the left guard battle, and I hope he holds on to it until the regular season because I think I think he'll be he's our best option at left guard. I really think he's our best option. I think Amin said total if we if he finds a way to beat him out, that is a bad sign for everybody. If Jeremiah is ready to find a way to beat him out, that is a horrible sign. So hopefully, guys. Taylor Moon, you know, keep on trending upwards, and he's our left guard for the season. So, because I think he's the, our best option. I think I mean, so totally, I mean, everybody knows how bad me said totally was. We had him before, we let him go, and then we brought him back. So that's how that that will tell you in itself how bad this kid is. Taylor Moon, I'm rooting for you. Keep trending upwards, and I'm happy for you, man. Taylor Moon all day. Now the second star of the OTAs was my dog DJ Moore. All right. I mean, I showed you guys the amazing catches he did. I've, you know, I've done a video about that. And people have been talking about him all OTAs. James Bradbury talks about him on NFL Network. Ron Rivera talks about him and raves about him. Everybody's raving about this kid because his route running is great. His catch rate is, even though he's a six-foot receiver, is great. I mean, he, he has leaping ability. He, he knows how to track the ball well. He's been tearing it up. I'm not going to lie. He, I ain't going to lie. I, I wouldn't be surprised by the end of the season he be the number one receiver on our depth chart. I'm not going to lie to you, man, because from what I'm hearing in the OTAs, now, mind you, again, training camp could change up a lot of things. But from what I've seen from him, man, I don't think it will because he's been playing great. His hands, you know, because the thing is, his route running is very good. You know, like even obviously Steve Smith said it, you know, Mike Mayock wasn't really sold on his route running. Steve Smith said, listen, I think he can run every route in the route tree. 
You know what I'm saying? His hands are good. He he, he catches good balls, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like he, you know, he obviously you seen in college, he had like some scrub quarterbacks. He still got, a, you know what I'm saying, caught everything that was thrown at him. You know what I'm saying? So he has really good hands. And, you know, also, he doesn't really seem like the diva type also, which is great. You know what I'm saying? Because diva receivers can be, you know, you, you could have an Odell Beckham on our hands, which Odell Beckham is a great player, but he is a diva. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's kind of what goes with it. DJ Moore don't seem like the type. So hopefully that will be good for us. You know what I'm saying? But as far as route running, catch radius, and then he ran a 4-4, you know? So he has the speed to get vertical. He has the route running ability, and he has the hands to catch the ball. So... So far, he's, he's been doing it up. They said, obviously, Devin Funchess and Torrey Smith are playing good, too. But they said, by far, the star of the OTAs was DJ Moore. And that's what you like to hear from your first-round pick, man. So, I'm really excited for DJ Moore. I think our receiving core... I mean, I think uh, they rated our receiving core on Bleacher Report 19th or some crap. Everybody's been down our receiving core. I think our receiving core is going to be pretty good this year, man. I think our receiving core... I think at least our first... Our starters, you know, which is would be Devin Funchess, Torrey Smith, and DJ Moore... It's gonna be a problem for a lot of players. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of teams, our we got I think we got like a three-headed monster. Especially if you move Christian McCaffrey out wide and stuff like that. We're gonna have a pretty potent offense. You know what I'm saying? Especially with North Turner as the offensive coordinator. I think our offense will be pretty potent. But DJ Moore has been impressing. You know what I'm saying? Um and I'm not surprised, man. From like getting that vote of confidence for Steve Smith kind of showed up everything for me. Now, mind you, I always bring this up because you know I gotta keep it 100 with y'all, man. In the beginning, I wasn't sold on him. I wasn't sold on DJ Moore, you feel me? Uh, I was more of a DJ Chark fan, but I was, I could honestly say I was wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I take i take that L, you feel me? I was wrong. You know, I'm not right all the time, but, um, you know, 98% of the time I'm, I'm right. But, you know, not all the time. So, you know, DJ Moore is doing it up. I'm happy about it. The Pens made the right pick, man. And I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, Marty Herney's holding up his end of the bargain, man, because his first round pick seemed like he really panning out. You know what I'm saying? OTA wise. But everybody says Martin Herney is very good at picking draft picks in the first round. But let's see how, you know, the other draft picks pan out. The Dante Jacksons, the Rashad Goldens, all those boys. Let's see how they pan out, man. But DJ Moore has definitely been tearing it up, and I hope he continues. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he's no more receiver on the depth chart by the end of the season, man. And that would be great for us because we definitely need a number one receiver. I don't think Devin Funches really fills that role. I think he's more of a second, number two receiver, whatever. So I think DJ Moore could really fill that world for us. And last but definitely not least, my older fans are going to rip me, man. The, the people that have been on my channel for a while, man, you're going to rip me for this one, man. I'm not going to lie. You know, I came really hard at this player. I was upset when we signed him. But from what they say in OTAs, man, he's playing really good, man. So I got to give him credit because, you know, I'm a, I'm a straight shooter, man. If I was wrong, I was wrong. I'll tell you I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And they say the Norris Cersei is holding it down the OTAs, man. I know I was I was critical, but I just thought Eric Reed was a better fit. But I was critical. So they said Denoy Cersei is holding it down the OTAs. They say he's probably going to solidify the free safety position. They say he's probably going to be our starting free safety, him and Mike Adams. Um, and I'm surprised, man. Like, I mean, I've had some people in the comment section saying, why am I going so hard at Cersei? I've also had people in the comment section saying that they're going to be a, a depth player. But from what I'm hearing... Seems like he's going to be a starter, man. So, uh, you know, shouts out to him. I, he, you know, all you can do is go on the field and prove it, man. And uh, obviously, like I said, training camp could change a lot of things. But I don't see Rashad Golden basically taking his spot. Um, and there's not really much much other, you know, safeties on the board, on, on the depth chart. So, I feel like he's going to hold it down to the regular season. And from what I'm hearing, man, he's doing pretty good. They're saying that, you know, he... He's, catch, he's catching picks, you know what I'm saying? He's playing really good. He's playing, he's a really good center fielder. And um, he's a sure tackler. He's, 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 just, he's just all around playing well. So, you know, I got to give credit to him, man, because, like I said, I was not sold on him at all, not even the slightest. And don't get me wrong, I still believe that if we had Eric Reed, we'll be in a better position. But I, I think I did go, you know, kind of hard on him, whatever. But that's because I felt like it wasn't the right signing. And... I still kind of feel like it's not the right sign. I think Eric Reed would be a better player for us. But I understand that what Eric Reed comes with, and they feel like this is the better deal. So, I mean, it is what it is. But Cersei, man, you know, you doing your thing. I can't be mad at it, you feel me? You, part, you, you know, we'll see what happens in the regular season. I think you're, you know, I think you're a good player. I just don't think you're, you was better than Eric Reed. Eric Reed was younger. You know, so I think he's a better player overall. 
And it was just dynamic, man. So, Janora Cersei has been tearing it up, guys. You know, he's doing his thing, man. Him. And also, I'm going to give you all a fourth star. Just, you know, just to let you know. Dante Jackson has been doing his thing also. He's been getting first team rests, uh, you know what I'm saying, outside corner. Which shows that he's, you know, he's definitely playing well, man. So, Dante Jackson, shouts out to you. But the three main positions that we needed was safety, guard, and receiver. And all three of those positions, Taylor Moulton is stepping up. DJ Moore is playing like a, you know, a first rounder, which, you know, I guess we had to expect. And Denoy Cersei, which was a signing that we, you know, we didn't know how it was going to go. He's playing really well, man. So, man, Marty Herney, man, I'm not going to lie, man. I might have to reevaluate your, your draft and your free agency, man, because it seems like you're doing your thing. You might, you, you, you know what you probably know what you're doing now, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I was critical on you also, but it seems like your draft pick is panning out. You didn't really get Taylor, you didn't get Taylor Moten, but you got DJ Moore, who seems like, you know, a baller, and you signed Janora Cersei, so two out of three things that, you know, I'm talking about was because of you, so, you know what I'm saying, hats off to Marty Herney, man. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else, and guys, in the comment section, how do you feel about the three stars, man? Do you think they're going to pan out? Do you think they're going to keep it up during training camp? Let me know in the comment section below, because I definitely want to hear I think Taylor Moulton will. I definitely think DJ Moore will. And I think uh, the Norris Cersei will, you know, will also. I just feel like Cersei, in his case, is more because we don't really have that much around in the safety position. But I definitely think Taylor Mo Moulton is going to beat out the rest of those guys. And I think DJ Moore, obviously, is probably the best receiver on our depth chart. So let me know in the comment section. Tell me how you feel about that. L Camera TV merchandise, shirts, hats, mugs, book bags, all types of stuff. That link is in the description below. Check out the merchandise. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Patreon page. You know what I'm saying? That link is also in the description below. Check that out. You feel me? Uh, check out my dog Renan Steen's page. His video is at the end screen. At the end of this video. Funny dude. Comedian. Talented guy. I think you really like his videos. He's a funny guy, man. Check his videos out. It's going to be in the end screen, guys. Uh, share with your panda fans. Friend, family, friends, fans. All types of stuff. Any NFL fans, share with them. Let them know Panda Nation out here. You know? With that, we're going to keep on pounding like always, you know what I'm saying? Let them know El Camera TV doing it, doing this thing, you feel me? And um, I'll see you guys next time. Again, like I said, thank you for all the support. And um, I want to do a live stream, man. I'll, I'll figure out some time to do a live stream with you guys because I love live streaming with you guys. You guys you know, are amazing. You're very you know, interactive. And I love your questions, man. So I definitely got to figure out a time to live stream. But I'll definitely let you guys know in one of my videos. And I'll see y'all next time.